Okay, um, in this video we're going to look at certs, okay, quite briefly, um, and it's one of those topics at GCSE which kind of, it, it seems a little bit alien, it seems quite strange, um, but CERDS is quite an important part of where maths is going to be going for you, and in A-level maths we will expand upon working with CERDS to look at more complicated things, but I'm just going to make sure you understand how CERDS work. Uh, now, square root of 50, root 50, um, what you need to do is you need to look at 50 and think, right, which square number goes into 50? Okay, it's all always about the square numbers because we're dealing with square roots. So which square number goes into 50? Well, that would be 25. So we could write 50 as the square root, well, 50 as 25 times 2. So we could write the square root of 50 as the square root, 25 times 2. Now, CERDs have this nice property that allows you to split the CERD up, like this. <clears throat> so the square root of 25 times 2 becomes the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. Now we chose to do this in order to break that square root of 25 apart because we know the square root of 25 is just 5. So I can write this as 5 lots of root 2. And that is how you can simplify a third. It's all about first trying to find the square number that goes into that number in question, so in our example 50, break that third apart to allow you to then simplify the square root of the square number, okay, and write, rewrite it as 5 root 2 in this case. Let's look at the second example. In this one you have 6 over root 2. Now this requires a little trick known as rationalizing the denominator. Now, why is it called rationalizing the denominator? Well, um, root 2, a third, is irrational. And what that means is that it can't be written as a fraction. Okay? So it can't be written as a fraction, so we can't do really much with it. And we don't particularly want thirds to be in the denominator. So with thirds being irrational, we want to rationalize the denominator to make the irrational number not be there. There's no way really of uh, getting rid of that irrational number altogether, but it will put it into the, into the numerator for us. So the way to do it is this little trick where you effectively multiply by 1. So I'm going to multiply this by 1, 6 over root 2 by 1. And if I do that, I just get 6 over root 2. But I can choose what the 1 will look like, the format of 1. So I can write the format of 1 to be root 2 over root 2. Because if you just think about it, root 2 over root 2 is 1. Okay, it's the same in the numerator and the denominator, so it must be 1. So this doesn't change the fraction. That's what's the important bit here. Okay, we cannot change the value of the fraction. So if I have 6 times root 2, I get 6 root 2. So remember multiplying fractions here. And then I get root 2 times root 2. Well, root 2 squared is just 2. So I've now got 6 root 2 over 2, and that can be simplified, because you can divide top and bottom by 2. So we get 3 root 2 over 1. And if you divide by 1, it's just 3 root 2. Okay? So that is how we can make 6 root 2, 6 over root 2, become 3 root 2. Okay? These are equivalent to one another. And it's all using this little trick of multiplying by 1. 